It's Joshua Casper. Welcome to another video tutorial. Um, today's tutorial is brought to you by Blueberry Flashback Scheme Recording Software. It's what I use. I recommend it. Uh, check out the link at the sidebar. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to make a custom instrument inside of Ableton Live. Uh, I'm going to be using Operator to make a dubstep wobble bass, and then we're going to save it so we'll always have it whenever we make some dubstep and want the, you know, the generic wah-wah sound. First thing we're going to do is take the instrument rack from the instruments and drop it on our MIDI track. Then I'm going to take my operator, drop it inside where it says to drop your instruments. You can expand the macro because we're going to assign some macro knobs in a little bit or you can keep it hidden, whatever you want to do. But uh, first thing we're going to do is set up our operator. Um, come down to our first oscillator, set the course to 0.5, set the wave file to square D. Um, and then we're coming up to the second one. I'm just going to use my computer keyboard to play some notes. And that's what I got. And if I want to go down or up in the scale, I just hit Z to go down. Or X to go up. And I'm just hitting A every time. Hit Z to go down and then hit A. And that's what we've got so far. But I want to use my second oscillator to get some... Uh, low end subby bass to it so bring the level up to about negative 18 db and the course down to 0.5 that's what I got so I'm gonna go ahead and drop down an octave again by pressing Z on the keyboard and hitting A and that's about where I want it alright the next thing I'm gonna do is come over here to the LFO turn it on and where it says L right here I'm gonna click the drop down and turn it to sync and what this is gonna do is sync it to the tempo of my track so if I turn this to 140 and right now it's on 16th, it will sync the LFO rate to a 16th note in 140 BPM. I'm going to turn my amount up to 80. Next thing I'm going to do is turn the filter on, turn the frequency down to about 200, and if we go ahead and play that now, turn the residence down a little bit, if I go ahead and play that now, I should get that wah-wah sound. What the problem is here is that the LFO is affecting oscillator 1, the oscillator 2, oh and not using the filter. So if you click on uh, the LFO again, come over here to destination, and turn off the A, B, C, and D, turn on the filter, this should give us the, the you know, generic dubstep bass sound. And that's what we got so far. Um, the next thing we're going to do is put some effects behind the operator and do some EQ on it. And then we're going to assign some macro knobs. And then we're going to save the instrument rack so we'll always have this. So first thing we're going to do is drop down the audio effects. And I'm going to put on a saturator. Take that, put that on the end here. Turn on the medium curve, turn color on. And then if you play with the depth, you'll hear the change in the sound. OK, cool. So why don't we assign some macro knobs now? Um, come over here to the rate click on it, right click and say map to macro 1. And now, you know, when we hide everything and we just have our instrument rack, we can change the LFO sync rate right here with just this knob without having to deal with all our instrument stuff. So anyway, come back out. Let's also do the frequency, uh, the filter frequency, map to macro 2. I'm right clicking and mapping. Um, come over here to the depth and map to macro 3 and now I have all of these map to macro nubs so when I hide everything I can still control some of my parameters. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is put an EQ on it and I'm just going to use an EQ8 uh, preset, go down to instrument and go to E bass modern and that changes the sound dramatically so let's come over here turn the depth up Turn the, the filter frequency to about 200 and turn this to a quarter note just so we can hear what's going on with that EQ. That's with it. That's without it. So big difference. And you can see that we're peaking here in the sound, so we'll turn this down just a little bit. Um, the, the last thing I'm going to do is use another preset um, for some reverb to get you know a little bit more sound going. And I'm going to go to Special, and I'm going to go to Empty Club, and drop that behind the EQ here. And what I'm going to do is assign the Dry Wet to Macro Knob 5. 
And if I come over here now and I get rid of this, you can hear that sound and how it affects it. So that's pretty cool. Um, the reason why I'm showing you this is we're going to use this bass in a remix of Paramore's Crush, Crush, Crush. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that in my next tutorial. But I wanted to have this all set up so we don't spend a lot of time on it in that tutorial. So click on the instrument rack uh, right here in the title bar so it's highlighted. Control R to rename it and rename it Dubstep Wobble Bass. Hit enter and there you go. And then come over here to this little floppy disk looking thing and click that. And it should, there you go, Dubstep Wobble Bass. Hit enter. And there you go, that will be in your instrument rack drop down, and you can use that in any of your projects whenever you want it. And uh, that's, that's pretty much it, that's all I wanted to show you today. Um, I'll keep you posted on the, uh, the Crush 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 Paramore uh, Dubstep Remix. You can check it out on the SoundCloud, I'm going to be showing you how to make that. So uh, click that link to my SoundCloud over there in the sidebar, check out the remix, and get pumped, because we're going to make that thing probably starting next week. I'm Joshua Casper, and I'll see you next time.